Hey, what is up, folks? Zero Fats here, coming at you with another money-making tip. Uh, I want to keep uh, keep uh, talking to you guys for a minute about saving uh, money because I feel like it's really important. Um, you know, like I said before, you've heard me saying a lot of the videos. You know, making money is great. Making independent dollars is amazing, and it's a great feeling. But if you haven't mastered how to save your money yet, if you haven't mastered how to not let your money slip through your fingers, uh, you know, man, you're never going to be successful. And, and I say that over and over again, but it is so true. And really, the first step um, to climbing out of poverty and mastering that is, is saving your money and, and not just blowing it on frivolous, you know, shit. So, anyways, I want to give you uh, five or six uh, kind of extreme money saving tips okay money saving things some of these have worked for me personally actually all these have worked for me personally um, and helped me and yeah some of them are a little extreme uh, but you know when you got a big problem of spending a lot of money all the time sometimes you gotta go extreme you can't go light you know packing your lunch isn't always gonna cut it you know so let's get right into this um, one of the things I did uh, when I first started saving my money um, and not just spending it was um, well, we had two cars. I, I I parked one, you know. I just parked it, you know. And I bought a bicycle, and I started riding my bicycle to work uh, because I was still, you know, working a job at that point. Um, and uh, yeah, I saved money like that, a lot of money actually. Uh, saved money on gas, on maintenance of the vehicle. Uh, it was it was a lot of savings actually. Ended up uh, getting rid of that vehicle actually. Um, and, and saved quite a bit of money doing it. Triple um, A, I wrote this, these numbers down for you guys in case you don't believe me that you can save money doing that. Triple uh, A shows an average cost to keep a car on the road is about a dollar a mile after factor, factoring all associated costs. I think that's that's a little bit high. A dollar a mile, and if you're averaging 10,000 miles a year, you're talking like 10,000 bucks a year to keep your car on the road. I don't believe that. I don't think it cost me that much. I owned my vehicle. Uh, I don't believe it cost me ten grand a year to keep it on the road. I mean, ten grr. Come on, man. Didn't cost me that much, but I definitely saved quite a bit of money uh, cutting down to one vehicle and uh, riding my bike back and forth to work because it was in town. Number one, I only lived about five miles from work. It wasn't bad. Um, you know, in the winter time when I during weather, you know, I had to drive, but uh, you know, other than that, it was good. Uh, so definitely, definitely, if you're in a position to do that, not everybody's in a position to do that. Some people live 20, 30 miles from work. They can't do it. Um, if you can line up a carpool, any way that you can park your car instead of taking it to work every day is a great way to save money, I promise you. Okay, so moving on, that's one thing. If you can park your car and get to work by an alternate means besides driving, it's a great way to save money. I, mean, I can tell you that firsthand, I saved a lot of money doing that. Um, okay. Second tip, this is the biggest and best, extreme. If you want to save extreme money, you got to cut extreme costs. And one of your biggest uh, expenses is your mortgage, okay? Your mortgage or your rent payment. You know, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a month for rent or mortgage. If you can cut that down, so basically what it boils down to is if you can take your house and you can, you can get a smaller house, you, you, can, you can live in a smaller apartment, if you can cut it down to a smaller space and, and cut that rent in half or cut that mortgage uh, down quite a bit, you know, you can save great money on that because in a smaller space, you're not only save money on your mortgage or your rent, you're also going to save money on your utility payments, which is amazing. Um, that's a great way to save money. So I can tell you right now, um, it works. Trust me. I mean, is it easy? No, it's not easy. You have to make sacrifices when you start using less space. You know, we, we chose to do that. Um, we ended up having to uh, get another storage unit to put some more stuff in while we did it. But it didn't matter because we saved so much in utilities and so much in rent that it worked out well until we were able to save enough to you know get our own place so it, it worked out really good I promise you that is a method that will save you money it's extreme that's an extreme uh, we're talking about extreme cost cutting here you guys that is extreme but uh, you can definitely save money doing that you know sometimes when it comes to breaking cycles like cycles of poverty and and breaking cycles of not being able to save money you have to do extreme things I mean you have to you know, give yourself no chance of retreat, so to speak. Um, you really have to kind of reboot, reset, however you want to call it, and you got to use some extreme measures. Um, 
I wrote these down here. Um, third, um, oh, this is a great one. I use this one too. Um, third one, take your debit card, take your credit card, take all, any like card you have that accesses your bank account um, or your credit cards, put them in a Ziploc bag, fill it full of water, put it in your freezer. Freeze that sucker. Put it on ice. You know, there's uh, there's some uh, there's some symbolism there. You know, you're freezing your cards, right? You're cooling them off, man. You're cooling them off. So essentially, what it boils down to is the only way you can spend money is you have actual cash on you. So what you do is you only get so much cash out of the bank, and you're like, this is all the cash I'm spending for the week. Put yourself on a budget, right? Um, so it works out really great, man. I, I didn't realize how much little things I was buying, little nickel and dimes, a candy bar here. Whenever I went to the gas station, I'd pick up a drink. I mean, you know, just little things like that add up super, super quick. And you take that, those cards and you put them on ice like that, you don't have those cards with you. You got just what you came with, with your cash. And it's a great way to save money. I mean, I definitely recommend trying that if you're having trouble saving money. Um, okay. Next thing, uh, extreme couponing, okay? I know you guys might have seen that show on TLC. I think it's on TLC. Um, extreme couponing. I mean, I don't know if I want to say extreme couponing, but I can tell you right now, uh, couponing will save you a lot of money in grocery expense. I can tell you right now, you know, what you have to do is you have to match up the sales that your local uh, Walgreens, CVS, Myers, Kroger's, Walmart, you got to match up the, the sales that those stores are having with the coupons you get out of the paper or online. Okay? Listen, there's, I, I can't teach you how to coupon here. There's a lot of sites out there that can teach you how to coupon. Go check them out. I promise you. My girlfriend is a couponer, okay? And we've actually tried it both ways. We've tried with couponing, we've tried without couponing, and I can tell you our savings is in the hundreds. Okay, I'm talking hundreds of dollars. How do you do it? Zero fats, how do you do it? I need this, 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 and this every week. What you do is you start planning your meals around your coupons and the sales that are happening. Okay, after a couple weeks, you start building up a surplus of items in your, in your cupboard. Tomato sauce, you know, cereal, pop, whatever. You start building up a surplus of things and it gets a lot easier to plan meals after a few weeks. But you plan your meals around sales, okay? Plan your meals around sales and the coupons that come into your possession, okay? It works. I'm telling you guys right now, you can save a buttload of money. Um, you can't be, like, die hard on a brand. You have to be willing to try different brands. You have to be willing to try generics to make this one work. But it does work. It works great. If you're not afraid of couponing, I can tell you right now, you can save a buttload of money couponing. Okay, uh, a couple more here. Uh, wanted to talk to you really quick about, um, okay, cutting out your cable. Okay, first of all, okay, cable TV is great. Okay, cable TV is thirty, forty, fifty, sixty dollars a month. I mean, it's nonsense. When you got something out there like Netflix that's like seven ninety nine a month, I can tell you there is so much entertainment on Netflix. It's it's insane. But you can do even better than Netflix. You can cut the cable out, you can cut the Netflix out, and you can just go to your downtown library. Most downtown libraries have a ton of DVD selection. You can find, you can rent them for free, they're always getting new ones in, and it's just ready-made entertainment. Doing that, you'll get to watch your movies for free, you'll, get, you'll read more books. It, it's it's nice. It's it, yeah. There's a little bit of a sacrifice there, you know. But honestly, we're talking about extreme savings measures here, and this is a great one because you're you're gonna cut your cable bill down. That's fifty bucks a month. Boom, gone. You're renting movies for free at the library. It's easy. I mean, honestly, guys, this is a great one. You know. So that's one thing that that real and all these that I'm telling you about, all these have worked for me. All these have worked for my family. All these have put us in a much better position to succeed. So I can tell you right now they definitely work. Um, and my last one is don't be afraid of thrift stores and garage sales. Okay? Don't be afraid of them. You know, the amount of money that you spend on clothes is unreal. You can look up the I think the average price of a t-shirt right now is $15 probably. $15 for a t-shirt. The average price of a t-shirt at a thrift store is like a dollar. Okay? That's, 
man, that's that's less than that's what is that like seven percent? That's seven percent of the cost of a new T-shirt. I mean, that's just off the top of my head. But I mean, if you start and that's about the same on all the clothes. So if you start adding up the cost of T-shirts, jeans, sweaters you know everything I mean you know obviously don't buy your socks and your underwear at a thrift store I mean that's kinda nasty to me but hey everyone's got their own thing but uh my family's got a thing about shoes I don't care about shoes I'll buy my shoes at a thrift store some of the members of my family they want their shoes new that's fine but nobody in my family minds clothes from a thrift store so the thing about it is you can find great clothes at a thrift store and the main thing is it's generally temporary you're saving a ton of money doing that I mean when you're talking about paying seven percent cost seven percent of your normal cost for that item I mean you're talking about man dude you're talking about normally spending four hundred dollars on something uh, like a like a clothes shopping situation and taking it down to like fifty bucks or something it's unreal. I can't stress this enough, you guys. It is unreal the amount of money you will save buying your wardrobe at thrift stores. Okay? Now, I know you look at me and you think, man, look at how you're dressed, dude. You're dressed all ratty. Well, listen, that's a style preference, okay? I dress like this because I like to dress like this. I dress down. That's my thing. Okay? You don't have to dress down when you shop at thrift stores. They got some nice clothes at thrift stores. So just go check it out. I guarantee you'll be pleasantly surprised, especially if you're trying to save money because you're always broke. So anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope that you, these tips have given you something to think about, man. You can get out of that broke financial state. You know, All you have to do is use your brain and your willpower and your determination you can be successful. You can step up. If you get a chance, check out my website, adventuresontheriver.com. Teach you how to make a full-time income selling on Amazon.com. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, and if you like this video and the other videos, hey, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build it back up. I can use any subscribers I can get. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.